Hi guys, I'm Ravina and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make an amazing salad, which I call my Christmas salad, just because it has different textures and flavors and colors which are reminiscent of Christmas and the holidays. So I'm starting off by taking you through how I make the dressing. So I'm starting off with two cups of frozen cranberries, which I just place into a little pan. And when it comes to a boil, just let it cook for a minute or two before passing it through a strainer and getting around a quarter cup of cranberry juice. If you want to skip this step, you totally can. The instructions on my website or <laughs> the instructions on my website will tell you what to do if you can find um, pure unsweetened cranberry juice in your grocery store or if you can only find cranberry cocktail. So I've got you covered, don't worry about it. And excuse the mashed potatoes in the background, they're demanding a little bit of attention. So, cranberry juice over here, then I'm adding just one teaspoon of pure maple syrup, three tablespoons, oh, I'll have to do that afterwards, my olive oil bottle is out. So that's going to be three tablespoons of olive oil, which I'll just do in a minute, and the juice of one whole orange. All right, the juices in the olive oil was obtained, and now it's just time to add a good pinch of salt, kosher salt, if you will, and that's done. And I have to say, I mean, seriously, this is the greatest color for a dressing. It's like the most vibrant pink, and it matches the plate which I am serving this salad on. So this salad does have a few different components which need to be assembled. So the first one is beets, and all I've done is brought a pot of water to the boil added two large beets, which I topped and tailed, and then let them cook for around 30 minutes, just until you can insert a knife into the center, more or less easily. You do still want them a little bit crisp because that'll just give them the ultimate texture. When your beets are done, just drain them, or in my case, take the beets out of the water so that you can feed that beautiful pink liquid to your plants and give them a bit of the holiday cheer too and then rinse your beets under cold water, peel them, and then I'm going to spiralize them. I happen to have this nifty gadget, and I'm spiralizing it on the smallest possible setting. However, if you don't have one, and why should you, feel free to just cut your beets into quarters and then into slices. That will work just as well. It's just a matter of having that color and crunch in the salad, which is so good. The next thing that I did was make some lovely, awesome candied nuts. So I took half a cup of walnuts, which I just broke into pieces, toasted it over medium heat for 10 minutes, and then I added one tablespoon of black currant syrup and an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne. You're like, Ravina, black currant syrup, WTF? Okay, first of all, you can also use maple syrup. That will work just as well. But I have to tell you about this product right here it's amazing it's a black currant syrup which is made in quebec on ile d'orléans which is right off quebec city and it's a farm called mona cassis et fille which basically um mona is their last name black currant and daughters that's what it translates to and I, like i was there this fall and it's just it's amazing. They do free wine tastings of their different fortified wines. They have all kinds of jams and jellies and marshmallows. This place is wonderful. They also do a black currant mustard. And this syrup is just, it's, it's breathtaking. It's absolutely delicious. And it will also turn your nuts the most beautiful shade of sort of pinkish maroon. So that's what I'm using today. If you're interested, go to their website. I'll have the link in the description box down below. But if not, just like use maple syrup, that works too. So at this point, it's time to assemble our salad after our nuts have cooled in the fridge. So all I'm doing is starting off with a box. This is around five ounces of arugula. And I'm just putting that onto my plate. This is definitely a generous salad. And now right on top of that, I'm gonna chop up some radicchio, which is a really bitter Italian green even though it's purple and I like this because you know everything else in this salad is quite sweet but if you give the radicchio a good chop you can get a little bit of that in every bite and I think it's quite delicious but if you have kids who are eating this then I would suggest you leave it out or use some purple cabbage instead mm. 
So just put that right on top. Give it a bit of a mix through. My plate overfloweth, quite literally. And now it's just an assembly job. So we start off with our nuts and then our beets. And then I'm just going to put some pomegranate seeds on top by bashing them with a wooden spoon and then drizzling atop some vinaigrette. And there you go, your salad is done. This salad is a thing of beauty. And I just wanna let you know, I'm just having one bite, so I'm not gonna go in and, and muck up the whole thing with my germs. Just letting you know, cause a lot of people care. That's delicious, seriously. And I'm not a salad person. The nuts are crunchy. The pomegranate seeds add a really nice sort of tart, crunchy note as well. The beets are sweet. Radicchio is bitter. Arugula is fresh. I'm serious. This is a great salad. Serves a lot of people. And you're going to need it this time of year. I thank you very, very much for watching. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You can get this recipe on my website, ravinaskitchen.com. New videos every single Thursday and Sunday. Like this video if you like this video, and I'll see you soon. Bye.